most GRC job advice you find online are designed to keep you unemployed. They tell you to get framework knowledge, risk assessment experience, compliance certifications, and a list of other requirements a beginner will spend years trying to get. But do you know that the people actually getting hired are solving a completely different problem? A problem that has nothing to do with knowing more frameworks or getting more certifications. See, once you understand what that is, you will wonder why you didn't figure it out all this while and what you need to start doing differently. Now, to help you understand this problem and how you can position yourself as a solution provider, I'll be discussing three important questions most beginners have that are often left unanswered in this video. Question number one, what problems are successful GRC pros solving that you need to start focusing on right now? Number two, why does business understanding beat framework knowledge every time? And number three, what is the specific approach that gets people hired without years of experience? Once you understand these three things, everything about GRC hiring starts making sense to you. Trust me on that. I'm told Okwe Michael, a cyber security expert and a career coach. I post videos like this every week and the topics I discuss here are the same ones I provide guidance on inside my training program that has helped over a thousand beginners land their first job. If this sounds like the kind of value you're looking for, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for more videos like this. Now, let's start with question number one. What problems are successful GRC pros actually solving? When you start working in cybersecurity, one thing you realize very quickly is that hiring managers are not looking to see whether you can recite ISO 27001 controls. No, they're not. Most candidates show up talking about control objectives and risk matrices, but executives don't think in terms of frameworks. They think in dollars, timelines, and a competitive advantage. They are more interested in whether you can help them avoid the compliance failures that destroy businesses. So, unless you can immediately present yourself as the candidate with these capabilities, you will keep wondering why you're not getting past the interview stage. Because the thing is, there's a huge difference between compliance theory okay and business compliance reality do you understand business compliance reality is messy okay it is political and it is full of competing priorities that frameworks don't address so to answer question number one successful GRC pros solve business problems not compliance puzzles do you understand question number two why does business understanding beat framework knowledge every time? Now, to begin with, most people entering GRC make the same mistake. And I made it too early in my career, okay? Most of us treat GRC like an academic subject where more knowledge equals better outcomes. So we study frameworks, collect certifications, and we memorize regulations. See, I spent months learning every detail of ISO 27001. I could recite controls in my sleep. But when I got into my first role, none of that mattered as much as I thought it would. GRC in the real world is not about perfect implementation of theoretical frameworks. No, it's about helping organizations stay compliant while still achieving their business objectives. Okay? The candidates getting hired demonstrate this business understanding. The ones getting rejected, they only show framework knowledge. And that is to say, business understanding wins every time because compliance exists to protect business objectives. Okay, so the sooner you understand that, the easier it will be to move up a career ladder. Moving on to question number three. What is the specific approach that gets people hired without experience? It is the same question every beginner asks at one point or the other in their career. How do you develop business understanding when you don't have GRC experience yet? Honestly, it's simpler than you actually think, okay? You start by researching the actual compliance challenges that are facing different industries and business models. 
See, throughout my career, I've worked with healthcare organizations that are struggling with HIPAA compliance during digital transformation initiatives. I've seen financial services firms facing increasing regulatory scrutiny around operational resilience and then third-party risk. And I've helped technology companies as well that are expanding internationally deal with complex data localization requirements. Okay? See, these are not theoretical problems. They are current business realities that you can research and understand. When you can speak intelligently about these real-world challenges, you are not just another candidate with certifications. You are someone who understands the business context where GRC work actually happens. One person I worked with spent weeks researching the specific compliance challenges facing SaaS companies preparing for SOC 2 audit. So when she interviewed at a SaaS startup, she could immediately discuss their likely pain point around access controls and data security. She got a job, of course, because she understood their business context, not because she had the most certifications. Don't get me wrong, okay? Certifications still matter, they do, but not as credentials to collect, okay? They matter as business problem solving methodologies. See, I tell everyone starting in GRC to think about certifications differently. ISO 27001 lead implementer teaches you how to build security programs in real organizational context. GRCP covers the strategic integration of governance, risk and compliance functions, right? CGRC, on the other hand, focuses on risk management frameworks and security authorization processes. I always advise people to choose certifications based on the business problems they teach you to solve not just the recognition they provide. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five-day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you'll binge and forget. We're talking hands-on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, I'm going to do something about that, and then didn't? That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support okay we're not just learning you're giving task actionable steps every single day with live q and a's where i personally help you avoid mistakes and land the jobs that will change your life watching my videos is great but if you want to go beyond watching if you're ready to take real steps toward a two hundred and fifty thousand dollars career a year come join the challenge the link is in the description below you can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Early in my career, I got Caesar because everyone said it was valuable. But I didn't really understand why until I used the audit methodology it taught me to identify gaps in a client compliance program. That was when it really clicked for me that the certification wasn't about having letters after my name. It was about having a systemic way to solve business problems. If you want to work with organizations implementing security management systems, ISO 27001 makes sense, seriously. And if you are interested in risk management integration, GRCP or CGRC would be more relevant. Now, the key is understanding how each certification's methodology applies to real business scenarios. That's the key. Certification alone is not enough to prove business competence, okay? You need to demonstrate strategic thinking about real compliance challenges. You understand what that means, right? See, I learned this the hard way when I first started consulting. Clients didn't care about my certifications. No, they didn't. They cared about whether I could solve their specific problems or not. Eventually, I figured that one easy way not to fall in this trap is to create analysis pieces about current regulatory development and their business implications. You can even write about how emerging technologies create new compliance considerations, right? Then also analyze how recent regulatory changes 
affect specific industries or business models. This isn't about creating functional scenarios. It's about researching and analyzing real development in the compliance landscape. I started writing about how new privacy regulations would impact different business models, right? Those articles got shared by compliance professionals and eventually led to consulting opportunities. Look, when you consistently produce thoughtful analysis about real business challenges, you are building a credibility as someone who thinks strategically about GRC issues. That is what separates you from candidates who only demonstrate framework knowledge. Now, when it comes to interviews, your approach should reflect business understanding, not just framework knowledge. I've coached people through GRC interviews, right? And the ones who succeed, they ask questions that demonstrate they understand the company's actual challenges. But to do this effectively, so you are not asking the wrong questions, you must already have researched their industry current regulatory environment, okay? You also need to understand their business model's compliance implications and know what regulatory changes are affecting their sector. See, that's the only way you can show up prepared to discuss how their specific business context creates unique compliance considerations. One person I worked with researched a fintech company's regulatory challenges before his interview. He asked thoughtful questions about their approach to operational resilience requirements and consumer duty compliance. The hiring manager later told him that conversation convinced her he could handle the strategic aspect of the role. But I must say this, nobody expects you to have all the answers. No, you just need to demonstrate that you think strategically about compliance in business context and that you think differently from other candidates. Once you land your first GRC role, how you advance in your career now depends on how you help your organization succeed safely, not just how you help them follow compliance checklists. Okay? This is the same thing I tell my students and all the people I've mentored over the years. I learned this watching the GRC professionals who got promoted fastest in organizations I worked with. One thing is, they didn't just implement controls. They helped leadership understand how compliance enabled business strategy. The GRC professionals who advance fastest are the ones who become trusted business advisors, not just compliance administrators. Okay, They are the one leadership turns to for strategic guidance on risk and compliance matters. As nice as it feels to have all those certifications listed on your resume, building a successful GRC career is not about collecting more credentials than everyone else. It's about developing the business acumen to apply compliance expertise strategically. That means understanding industries, business models, and the real world challenges organizations face when trying to balance compliance with growth. It means being able to translate regulatory requirements into practical business guidance. And it means also positioning yourself as someone who can help the company for years. Okay? If you want to become this kind of professional, I'm talking about. I want you to implement this business first approach, all right? And to do that, you have to follow this path. First, choose an industry or business sector you want to focus on and research their current compliance challenges. Number two, start following regulatory development and then analyze their business implications for that sector. Number three, begin sharing these insights through professional networks, demonstrating your strategic thinking about compliance issues. Now do this consistently and you will develop the business context understanding that separates successful GRC professionals from those who only know frameworks. The GRC career you want is available, but it requires thinking strategically about business problems, not just studying compliance frameworks. Start with business understanding and the rest follows naturally. Now, if this strategic approach makes sense to you, remember to hit that subscribe button for more advanced cybersecurity career content like this. And in my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.